UMass Boston Baseball kicking off their 2023 campaign in a big way against MIT at home on Thursday afternoon. A come from behind victory. We pick it up in the second inning. Craig Corliss up to bat to lead off the bottom of the second. He doubles down the right field line. A ton more misplaying it near the wall. And the Beacons look like they're in business early on in this inning as Nick Palma would end up getting a single through the right side, which would load the base as Corliss is held up at third. So bases loaded, one out, but then Justin Gavea and Brian Parker are retired by Brian Rapinan. So it's still 0-0 heading into the third inning, and that's where MIT would strike first as Zev Moore, a towering fly ball to the left field, a home run, a two-run shot, makes it 2-0 engineers in the third, and they would add on to that. Aton Moore in the very next inning, an RBI single to left field, makes it 3-0 in favor of the visitors, and they continue to pile it on early and often. The fourth run of the game coming off the bat of Jake Sandres, an RBI single to right field makes it 4-0. And then Graham Cartwright is going to make it 5-0 on his sacrifice fly to Luke Levitt in left field. But the Beacons slowly but surely would chip away at the deficit. Aiden Blake with an RBI triple into the center field, right field gap. Scores Luke Levitt all the way from first base to make it 5-1 to one, MIT. The next batter, Craig Corliss, with the second double of the game, he was 3-4 for four with one RBI, is going to end up scoring Blake from third as another misplayed ball by Moore allows the run to score and allows Corliss to get to second with a double. Beacons trailing 5-2. to two. Nick Farnese scores on a wild pitch in the seventh inning. The Beacon deficit down to just two runs. But... A big play here in the eighth inning. Jackson Snyder, after throwing 11 balls on his first 12 pitches, a big strike out there with two on, makes it still a 5-3 to three ball game. Teddy Schoenfeld looked like he gave MIT the lead for good with a two-run home run in the ninth inning off Ethan Herrera, makes it 7-3. to three. The Beacons three outs away from dropping their home opener, but they would not go quietly. Justin Gavea, a fielder's choice right here. He hustles out the throw to first. Beacons have one on. And two outs, a 3-2 count to Bryce Evans. He walks. So now you've got first and second. Luke Levitt's hit by a pitch. Bases are now loaded. Jimmy Moore, the pitcher for MIT at the time. Mariano Jimenez is going to hustle out this play. Run scores. It's an RBI infield single. It's now 7-4. Still on their last breath. Aiden Blake is going to walk. And then Dylan O'Donnell is going to walk on four straight pitches against Cole Foster. And then this is where... The game ends. And that one's loaded in the dirt. It's a wild pitch. The run's going to score anyways. Coming around third. Oh, he's going to be caught in a rundown. Blake, two, five. He misses him. He's safe. He's safe at home. Aiden Blake, the tag wasn't applied in time. UMass Boston has won the game. Cole Foster's wild pitch. Was ball four to Gianni Zarelli Jr., which would have tied the game up, but Aiden Blake gets caught in a rundown, gets by Foster's tag, and under the catcher's tag as well. The Beacons win 8-7. to They remain at home to take on Framingham State on Monday afternoon at Monin Park.